and welcome back Reef family to another episode of Tristan's Reef. Today I'm going to give you guys a closer look at the modular marine ghost overflow. So as I contemplate the bits and pieces of my new 350 gallon build, I relish the opportunity to try new products like this overflow. Overflow technology in general has changed a lot in the last few years and I'm excited to try new and more efficient equipment for my build. Modular Marine has been in the industry for over 16 years, building anything from acrylic sumps, tanks, overflows, and external refugiums. They use a precision CNC machine to cut parts from some of the best materials available. In today's spotlight, I was sent their version of the Ghost Style Overflow. And there are a few points that make this overflow box unique amongst the overflows more commonly available today. First up, the exterior box mounts above the skimmer by about a quarter of an inch instead of below the waterline like all of the other manufacturers build them. And this is to reduce the risk of flooding and overflowing the exterior box. The notched out area is made to fit over trim and it also works for rimless tanks like in my application. So Modular Marine utilizes a ramped silent overflow teeth that kind of serve to reduce the sound of water entering the box. The interior and exterior box also has a perimeter top brace countersunk and this is to work with the included polycarbonate lids. The actual removal of the skimmer box is simple and it fits snug without any concerns of it falling off during use. My particular overflow box came with a single custom drain but they usually come standard with the three drain bean animal setup. Overall, the build quality and heavy duty materials utilized should last you pretty much a lifetime and I wouldn't hesitate to use this type of overflow box for my new tank. Here's a better look at the interior of the box and the amount of space that you have inside to add your additional plumbing as well as a better look at the ramp style overflow teeth that are graded in such a way that water flows into the overflow box rather than get projectiled in the way other boxes are created. Installing the overflow box is actually pretty simple. It doesn't require any tools and if you want to drill your own tank, a template is provided. And really it just starts by inserting the inner skimmer box, the outer skimmer box, and using the included bulkheads that are molded into the actual box itself in order to secure it to the side of your tank. Once you have your overflow dry fit, go ahead and tighten down your bulkhead fittings to complete your installation. As for drain type, I chose to use flexible tubing and a simple dorsal drain which on this size tank is actually very quiet. The frag tank doesn't have too much turnover, so the drain is quiet enough that I can run flexible tubing from the frag tank into my main display. Once you're done, go ahead and slide on your polycarbonate lids and you're ready to go. Now, it's time to fill the tank. Filling the tank felt like it took an entire day, but in truth, it was only about two hours. Once filled, I went ahead and added my salt and mixed everything up for a few hours. A few hours later, I added my washed sand and left the entire thing alone overnight. The next morning, I turned on flow from the display and the tanks met for the first time. While the frag tank had filled, I took the time to mount the corals that I had on my sand bed onto the rockwork in the display. Already, I can see where I will need to start cutting things back to prevent coral warfare. I'm going to give the tank a few more weeks to stabilize before starting to move frags over. And with this guys, I'm going to wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. And a special thanks to Modular Marine for providing that ghost overflow for my review.